Good morning, world. Pretty uh, in your face title for 2018. Won't save you. Okay, so sipping on my dandelion tea. Shout out to Chris DeFilbus, creator of Night Flim, giving me a refresher on removing caffeine from your morning routine. So Danny Lion T it is. Yerba made its neck. So moving forward is what we all intend to do. And in 2017, that was all the hype for where we are now. A new calendar. Of 2018. Right? The number has changed, people. That is all that's changed. And if you haven't, then 2018 won't save you. What will save you is a winning mentality. See, a lot of people just are sitting up in the stands, okay? Spectators cheering for the winning team, all caught up in the hype of the, of the crowd. And then when the game's over, they go home to their normal lives. You understand? So, Happy New Year, everyone. Woohoo! You're getting on the alcohol. You're poisoning your body, poisoning your mind. If you do it excessively, even a little bit, it's still poison. But nonetheless, the point is this. You're, most of you are just caught up in the hype. Right? This, this one moment in the year and you think, oh, I'm saved. Hallelujah. Praise the fucking Allah, whatever. It's not going to happen, people. Okay? Let's, let's look at it metaphorically. So you're up there, you're spectating, you're looking at the team, they're down on the field, and that's why a lot of you are where you are, because the unwillingness to get down on the field. Hey, it's all right being up here in the stands, cheering on for your team, and when they're winning, you're winning. And when they're losing, you're, you, you're like, oh, fuck you. You're complaining, you're draining, you're in a losing low vibrational mindset, Okay. Now let's let's look at the team that that's winning or goes from losing to winning. How does that happen? Well, a lot of it comes down to skill. A lot of it comes down to heart. It all comes down to having the mentality to go, hey, we can do this. We can win. We can push forward. So where where are your goals, people? Are you scoring the tries? Are you bumping through the opposition out there in the world? That's life. That's your fears, your insecurities, your doubts your failures, okay? So you've got to get your equipment on. You've got to, let's look at that, put your helmet on. Skills, knowledge, commitment, tenacity, endurance, to push through and break through the other side, to get to the try line, to get to your goals. Why is it called a goal? Because that's where the achievement is. So in the game, you're, you're, you're starting from here to get to there get the try, then then you're in this moment of uh, celebration, elation, and then you start all over again. You all line up, the ball gets kicked off, you catch the ball, and away you go again. So it's very similar to life, people. So unless you're down there playing the game, catching the ball, getting bumped and bruised, scratched, punched, right, and you're training on a regular basis, 2018 won't save you. It is that simple, people. Do not look at it as a year or a number that is going to come to your rescue. That's not going to happen. And really, what is the big deal? It is just another day in your life. The big deal is you making the most out of that. So instead of being caught up in all of this hype, all of this celebration, be over here where the successful people are doing something about getting to that try line, getting to the goal. Okay? A win is a win for sure, but if you just rely on that win, then that's then after that you just start losing. You understand? Having one win does not necessarily make us a winner. I I feel that the winning comes from dealing with the loss and overcoming and putting yourself back into a position where you're winning. Okay, like I said, 
when you look at a game of sports where you got to get to one end to the other end to claim the reward. Look at basketball, same deal. You put the ball in the hoop, you got to run back to stop the other team from doing it. And then you got to run back to put the ball back in the hoop. So life is very sim very similar. It's not the ball that wins the game, right? It's, so it's not the year that's going to make your life better, people. Because what you did last year is just going to accumulate re residual effects over into this year and vice versa, vice versa. It's just a, a build up until you, you change your habits, you change your mentality. What are you doing? So well, this you, it doesn't matter if it's this year, if it's this day. You just make a decision now. What is it that I must do now? To get to the end goal, to get to where I want to be in my life, the lifestyle that I seek to create. So what do I do? I invest in Lewis Howe's webinar, seven figure webinar training. And I invest in Mikey Boyce's Twin Bit Tech, which has a webinar feature and all these other tools and features on it all in one place. It's freaking amazing. Right? So I go do the training, I go get the platform, I go get the structures, the materials. Now I start building. Now I start building. Okay, and I'm helping other people in there as well, creating content, promoting their products, etc., etc. Okay, so it's team support, being the trainer. Okay, so you can have a team full of individuals who know the ship, and until there is some congruency, the team will not move forward. It's the same in, in life, people. You can have all your shit together and you can be winning, but I guarantee that there's people around you that are part of your team you may not even think about it. But they're the people you call up and go, hey man, can you do me a favor, blah, 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 can you look up this? That's someone who's part of your team. So honor that, honor that person, reward that person. There needs to be an equivalent exchange, right, okay, of services or effort. So that's just something to take home, people. Read, seriously, read the books that correlate where you want to go. Look, if, you, if you're interested in gardening, then obviously you're going to read books from top gardeners who are going to show you all the information, and then you apply that, okay? You develop a winning mentality. Write down the notes, okay? Write down the information, follow people, but do more than follow them. Follow them in a way so you can see what are they up to. How are they speaking? Okay, what are they talking? What information are they giving out? What goals are they achieving? What tries are they making? What successes are they highlighting? All right, okay, that's cool. I'm onto that. Savvy, savvy, savvy. Absorb and apply. So it doesn't matter what the fucking season is, what time of the day it is, and what freaking year it is, people. Okay, you're looking for this external, temporary situation to solve all your issues in life that is ongoing. It's not going to happen. What? Because if it went midnight, everything's better. Whee! People, that's a delusional thought for you to have. Okay, it's a delusional thought because most of you are going to be waking up the next day with a freaking hangover and you're in a low vibrational state. So if you're all about oh, new year, new me, then you need to develop that person before the year even comes. So you're walking into that new year with momentum, with a changed perspective. So you're going to do things differently. So 2018 is not going to save you unless you're willing to save yourself, starting with your freaking mind. What are your habits? You know, the ability, I have a decision to go, Danny Lion tea instead of coffee. Not like, oh, when I get a different mug, then I'll drink something different. Or in 2018, I'll stop drinking coffee. You make the decision now when the information is brought to you that, hey, this is probably better for you to do. Okay, cool. 
thanks for the reminder. So, as I said at the beginning of this video, thank you to Christy Filbers, the creator of Night Flim. A little video about no caffeine. I went, yeah, you're right. I've actually uh, been thinking about experimenting with that. So, I went and researched no caffeine alternatives. Denny Lime Tea, which I've had before when I was training. You see? So, you act on the information as it, is, as it appears to you. Because it presents itself to you for a reason. Either you're thinking about that, you're looking at something about that, you know what I mean? It's an echo. Life is echoing back to you. What you already know. A lot of us already know people, but you're too busy up in the stands, cheering and cheering, making excuses for getting down on the field, people. Getting in there and doing it. So people, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, learning. If there's any learning that you get from these videos, then, hey, top notch. That's what this is all about, me just sharing with you personal insights, personal opinions, experiences, stories, endeavors, challenge, and questions that I highlight to myself. And then I go and study, then I go and research, and then create some difference, create some success, get some goals, and then say, hey, you need to know this, but hey, what you do with it is up to you. That's not my responsibility. My responsibility is to present the information. What you do with it, that's up to you. So peace out, people. And most importantly, thank yourself for doing it. So bump it, punch it, and I'll see you around. Cheers. Go fucking get some goals.